Yo, what's going on guys? Crispy Flakes here. So it was just reported that Kemba Walker is going to be missing the beginning of the regular season with the Boston Celtics. Apparently he had some sort of like steroid or it might have said stem cell, some sort of injection into his knee. I'm not a doctor, so I don't really know the, uh, you know, the technicalities of it man but pretty much he is going to be missing the beginning of the regular season which in my opinion is actually a huge huge deal for the Celtics team we all know that Kemba did kind of struggle in the bubble just wasn't the same player so obviously you want your starting you know all-star caliber point guard to really get into the groove of things you know make into a routine like he was for all the years on the Charlotte Hornets and just and really um starting off with the Boston Celtics too and just get back into the normality of things so that way he can help lead this team to an NBA championship which is the ultimate goal in the end of the day right man so before we get going on today's video if you guys don't mind dropping that like and of course subscribing if you're new to the channel would be greatly greatly appreciated and let me know in the comment section below before i get into my opinion what would you do if you were the owner the gm the coach of this team guys would you go out there sign a free agent would you trade for somebody would you use that trade exception of gordon hayward um or would you just use the guys you already have on the team and just hope you know in the first few weeks you can just kind of like coast through it and be okay man so yeah let me know that in the comment section below Alrighty, so first we kind of have to look at Kemba Walker. So Kemba Walker, what are they going to be missing in the beginning of the regular season? Well, obviously, you know, great scoring. When it comes to playmaking, like Kemba Walker is not like the greatest playmaking point guard in the NBA. He's also not the worst. He does his job, you know, five assists per game, four rebounds. Um, shoots the three ball very nicely for the Celtics team. Not always the most efficient player, but still, like we all know what Kemba Walker is. He's just a good, solid point guard in the league, right, man? So that's going to be missing out on that just really early on, right? Now, as far as what this team should do, well... There's quite a few options. Obviously, we're still in the free agency period right there, so they could just go out and sign somebody. Um, but also, this Jeff Teague sign right here, man, like, this is actually making this, like, deal just look like a freaking miracle, man. Because Jeff Teague, obviously, has starting point guard experience. I mean, he was, I believe, yeah, he was an all-star for one year on the Atlanta Hawks, uh, you know, back in the 2015-2016 seasons where they had that crazy record. And I think they got swept in the first round of the playoffs. It was absolutely crazy. Or second round, something like that, man. Um, but as of late, he's been just kind of like a more of like a role-playing point guard. You know, 11 points, 5 assists here. Which, you know, you could just go with that. You could just go with Jeff Teague as your starting point guard for the next few um for the next few weeks and you would probably be fine now the issue with that is that they don't really got much for a backup point guard i mean right now you do have like carson edwards i don't think he's quite ready yet like obviously he does good like in the summer league and g league and all that stuff like that man but for the most part carson edwards i just don't think is ready um to take on this role for a team that's looking to contend now i guess he could and you could probably be fine and that'd be okay they also got peyton pritchard who i believe is a rookie uh probably also not ready to go you know the route of just being an instant backup point guard from day one so you know you could go with the lineup out there of Jalen at the two spot you know obviously you go with jace tatum at the three um you could go with Teague at the point guard spot, or you can even use Marcus Smart as the starting point guard and then use Chef Teague off the bench. But yeah, they're going to do something out there with this lineup. Because if you really do look at the Boston Celtics, that was kind of like the knock on them this offseason was that, you know, they didn't really like do any like big time moves. So you don't want to mess with the chemistry. I mean, obviously, one of the big problems out there with the Gordon Hayward trade was that they had a chance, I guess, to get Miles Turner. But I think uh, they kind of blew that or something. That's what I was hearing. Although, who knows, man, there's always two sides to a story. So yeah, uh, bench wise, like, it's not a fantastic bench i'm curious to see what aaron smith can do on the squad and everything but in some cases when you have a guy like jeff t like he was brought on this team not to be a starting point guard to be a backup so early on you want him to get adapted to playing with the guys off the bench right so it might be a case where they might have to do like a marcus smart starting at point guard or something like that man maybe daniel tice at the power forward spot with thompson at starting center i don't really know it's going to be interesting so looking at free agents available this is where it gets you know man just a, a little little interesting out here you obviously have isaiah thomas it's absolutely crazy that isaiah thomas is listed as a zero star system match for this team but with isaiah thomas man we all do know straight up that this guy was once a stud on the boston celtics the last time he was actually really good at basketball right 29 points six assists i mean i believe he was running for mvp led the celtics like a 50 win team or something like that so uh there was actually reports before this kemba walker news was announced that isaiah was linked to the boston celtics trying to find some sort of role i guess recently he was out there playing basketball with like kevin durant and a few other guys and they were all saying like he looks like his old self again so it definitely is an opportunity man we we're going to try to negotiate a contract um give me one second i'm going to find a way to get him on this team real quick here so we can kind of see what we can do with them so yeah guys give me one second Okay, so we have Isaiah Thomas on the team right here. Now, as far as his contract goes, man, uh, I would say he probably gets around like the minimum. It's probably a one-year deal. Might even be like a non-guarantee type of thing out there. Just see what he has. 
but here's my thoughts man you use isaiah thomas you start him at the point guard spot you know he brings that scoring for the team and everything like that man plays in the backcourt with marcus smart who of course makes up for his lack of defense and you just see what happens early on it's a little bit of a risk because obviously you want your team to get off to a hot start but what this does man is that by the time that kemba walker is healthy you kind of see what isaiah thomas is all about you know does he have a role on this team can he be the backup point guard and then at that point you can combine a trade with jeff teague and the trade exception and try to you know get something for that on a more needed basis or if you have isaiah thomas he you know balls out but you decide you don't really want to keep him on the team on that minimum deal you can tr combine that with the trade exception which worth like 18 million dollars or something like that man and uh you can see what you can get for him right because there will be some team out there that's like yo isaiah thomas just dropped like 16 points a game in the past two three weeks for the boston celtics i want him on my team for that really cheap contract man so that is kind of how we are going to roll to start off the simulation right here uh, we are going to put Isaiah Thomas as the starting point guard. And like I said, that's going to allow, allow Jeff Teague to kind of get chemistry with Tristan Thompson and guys like that off the bench, man. So we're going to be at about, like, I want him to play, obviously. We don't really need Robert Williams playing because we got Tristan Thompson already. We'll give uh, Nesmith some minutes out there. Probably also some to uh, Grant Williams, I would probably have to say. That looks pretty good. And then we will get Isaiah Thomas, you know, playing like 31 minutes per game. We want uh, Marcus Smart playing a lot. Uh, get these guys all up too. There we go. There we go. All right, man. So let's get going on this simulation. Like I said, I have the man Kemba injured for like two to three weeks, which should be uh, obviously this doesn't really line up because today's December 1st and I'm pretty sure the NBA does not start on the 6th. Although I could be wrong about that. I'm pretty sure I'm not the man. So we are just going to uh, continue the simulation until it says Kemba Walker is not injured and we will kind of go from there. Um, okay. Yeah. I, why do I have the Knicks selected? Okay. Adjust rotation manually. Okay, apparently I have the Knicks. Okay, let me what one second. No, I know what I did. I put uh I had to put Isaiah Thomas on the Knicks so I could trade for him because my team didn't have enough cap because I said Isaiah was supposed to get like eight million dollar contract. That is right. Um, and we all know he's not gonna get no damn eight million dollars. So I put him on the Knicks, then traded for him so I could get him on the team. Okay, that makes more sense. I was like, bro, I don't want to be the damn Knicks. Nobody wants to be the Knicks. I'm, I'm sorry. Okay, we'll be the Knicks. Not like to make the damn playoffs anyway, man. So simulate through date until Kemba is healthy. And we'll just control two teams. It's all good. So, yeah, I don't care about your guys' trade offers. All right, let's get going with this, man. Uh, Celtics didn't get off to a hot start. So far, not going well. Not, nope. Well, Kemba Walker's uh, healthy. So leave rotation as is. We're going to keep it right there, though, man. But Kemba Walker is now healthy. In that time, the team went 2-5. and five. That's not great. That's like, okay, Isaiah, just get off our team, right? Let's go to the player stats, though, and see how we actually did. Um, then we can get an idea if we can make some sort of trade or something like that happen as we go forward, man. So Tatum balled out. Jalen Brown, we got uh, Isaiah Thomas was at 14 points, 6 assists per game. Those are actually really good numbers, man. 47% field goal percentage, and he shot 41% from 3. That's really good. Like, that's not something you can really complain about. I mean, Jeff Teague was nice off the bench. Honestly, I don't know why this team did so bad. Marcus Smart, I guess, didn't play all, like eight, all that great shot. 30% field goal percentage. Um, yeah, it just wasn't wasn't great, man. So, But what I'm thinking now is, you know, Kemba's obviously back on the team. And just based off of what I saw, like, Isaiah Thomas do, I kind of want to keep him around. You know what I'm saying? Like, like, like to me, he played really good basketball, right? Um so now what i think we probably do let's go hit up the uh, trade finder and see what type of trades we could get because at this point it's like okay we got two point guards we don't need both of them let's go trade finder let's do a trade of jeff teague well i guess he's only got a five million dollar deal isn't he um i don't know if i can actually trade do like the trade exception or not okay this is what i'm gonna do okay this is what i'm gonna do man it's gonna be a little little confusing right here um because the trade exception is for 18 million dollars like i said i'm not like completely like knowledgeable in the art of trade exceptions and stuff like that so if i'm screwing up some aspect of this let me know in the comment section below so you can educate me a little bit but, okay so it's 18 million dollars we cannot physically put it on there so what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna raise jeff teague's contract by 18 million dollars uh because then that's gonna show like i guess under that is it's under probably contract right because that's except that's essentially like the trade exceptions being offered up right man so that means 23 million dollars is what would be leaving the boston celtics to try to get a new player i don't even know if that is how it would go but that's how we're doing it man so yeah 23 million dollars is what it would be i believe it's 18 million dollar trade exception largest in nba history already so the now will now allow us to trade away jeff teague in my opinion for whatever great player we can get for the bench right man so yeah jeff teague let's all firm up see what we get some team will probably take him on, right? Like, good backup point guard. And then we get to keep Isaiah Thomas for scoring off the bench. So, we got Otto Porter. 
um that's actually not a bad trade i would actually totally take auto porter we toss in a second round pick seems kind of interesting for both sides obviously you know the chicago bulls have patrick williams now so they might be looking to get a bit of auto porter we got chris dunn avery bradley cody zeller definitely don't need a center uh terrence ross would be kind of interesting like score three seasons pretty decent contract but i'm thinking the auto porter one kind of makes the most sense uh we could obviously go with like a rudy gay i mean he'd be a great score too you know good veteran player can play multiple positions al horford's contract right there i uh, don't really want to take that on although he was really nice on the boston celtics but no i think this is nice jeff teague second round pick in exchange for a 27 year old in his prime auto porter that provides spacing and just a really good guy for the bench so that looks pretty good to me man and uh yeah we are now looking at this for our starting five with the bench of being well i'm actually gonna go with tice as the starter i still like him over tristan thompson just in this lineup so we got tristan thompson auto porter isaiah thomas go with the eight man rotation let's get isaiah thomas you know playing a few more minutes out there at about 20 per game that sounds about right uh kemba playing a bit more now that he's completely healthy let's get marcus smart right there and we'll do this I, I like this lineup guys like to me that would be smart to do just give the guy a chance and it's still early enough in the nba season that like obviously you want your team to be up to like a good start and stuff but at the same time it's not gonna be like that big a deal so let's simulate the rest of the season man currently two and five and see how this new team does you know with isaiah thomas off the bench auto port around the team simulate through date there we go and uh hopefully they can win some games now i will say when it comes to the boston celtics guys i'm fully convinced there is something in this game called the boston celtics curse like two years ago i did a video about it where the game just hates the boston celtics so there's a chance we don't make the damn playoffs we better make the playoffs is my game about to crash no it's not okay so but no I, I i initially saw what was going on with kemba and like like i said man it wasn't like the biggest woge bomb ever i was like okay he's gonna miss a few weeks but uh, i still do find it to be very very you know just significant if it was like any other player if it was like okay daniel tice is out for a few weeks i was like okay that's fine but literally the starting point guard on a team who's point guard last season kind of struggled when he didn't really get into a group of things took that big six you know six month break with covid going on and stuff like that so I don't know but from a win percentage uh we are currently 24 and 16 on the season so despite the slow start you know this team has bounced back we got a huge nice winning streak going right there so yeah this team definitely is going to make the playoffs um but sometimes you know really when it comes to any sport somebody else's like horrible thing that's going on like a guy having a stem cell steroid ejection to his knee could be a good situation for somebody else like an isaiah thomas um you know open for the opportunity and then obviously in the long run of things it helps out the team right guys so i wouldn't worry too much about this if you are a celtics fan i just you know i want to do a video about it just because um i talk about like a lot of like trades and stuff on this channel but i do think that injuries also are, are super super significant but uh yeah this team is playing nice man 51 and 30 on the season one more game against the chicago bulls here we go simulate through day we did that trade with obviously 52 and 30 that was after you know struggling two and six to begin the regular season right man so here's all the um awards all nba first all nba second with jason Tatum making that and all nba third looking like that Alrighty, so in the playoffs you can't see because i'm in the way but we are the second seed in the conference we got the uh seventh seed miami heat ironically enough the new york knicks actually made the damn playoffs yo literally made <laughs> maybe that's what y'all do with the team man. maybe just get just get rid of management and just leave the team be man just just like maybe maybe like society will endure itself and they'll just build their own thing you know like within their own organization that's very surprising guys the knicks made the playoffs in this but here we go um let's go to the uh player stats on the season maybe obi toppin's that type of guy right so tatum brown kemba walker you know kemba walker come back from the injury 22 points four rebounds five assists which i believe yeah that's one of his better seasons right it was better than last season i mean scoring wise efficiency wise so yeah that's fantastic for him Otto porter great addition off the bench 11 points three rebounds two assists per game uh, and then of course you got isaiah thomas who still put up 10 points and four assists if he's doing that that would be a great signing for the boston celtics and obviously he's a fan favorite over there right man so here we go uh if we lose to the knicks i'm gonna be pissed okay here we go first round we got the miami simulate round see how this goes lost game okay we are okay we won in seven games we won in a seven game series uh tatum 32 and 12 18 points for isaiah thomas you know king of the fourth quarter as they call him right man 22 uh points for jimmy butler new york i swear, if we lose to the knicks i'm gonna be so mad simulate simulate round how do we lose to the knicks <laughs> how are the knicks in the eastern conference finals man and how do we lose to them Bro, I, I cannot stand 2K simulation sometimes, guys. 
they would beat me in this video, man. Simulate. Simulate round. We better damn lose. Okay, you know, I was actually rooting for him at that point, man. Not gonna lie. <laughs> they got to the they got to the I'll be topping. Julius Randall, apparently, man. Dr. J, intern J, as I like to call him. Already, simulate playoffs, man. That's not the point of the video. The simulation's not the point, man. It's the, it's the discussion that we have, right? But no, hope you guys did all enjoy this video. Like I said, I do think something needs to happen. You can't just go into the season with what you got. Like, you got to bolster up somehow, even if that's just getting like a, uh, I don't know, man, like a Jerry and Grant for your backup point guard. I just don't think Edwards is quite ready, man. He brings you offense. But then he gets so does Isaiah Thomas. But Isaiah Thomas at least has like leadership qualities. Like he's been there, done that type of guy, right, man? Which is what the subject kind of need with that. So yeah, I hope you guys all enjoyed. Be sure to drop that like, subscribe if you're new to the channel, and peace out.